Three Eye Atlas and the Planetary Defense Network activated. Did NASA just activate the Planetary Defense Network? Well, not exactly. However, very interesting to note the Minor Planet Center.net did release a bulletin today. Let me share that with you right now. So buckle up, Buttercups. How the heck are you? Hope you're having a fantastic evening or morning or afternoon, wherever you are. So this is directly from the Minor Planet Electronic Network, minorplanetcenter.net. And if you come down here, you can see preparing using the Tamkin Foundation Computer Network, harvard.edu, minorplanetcenter.net. Announcement of IAWN, which stands for International Asteroid Warning Network, Comet Astronomy Campaign. Comets present unique challenges for accurate astrometric measurements and orbit predictions. Cometary bodies are extended with morphological features, coma and tells, that can systematically pull their centoid measurements off their central brightness peak, presenting challenges to estimate comet trajectories. So they're saying it's not an exact science. Then it goes on to say that the International Asteroid Warning Network, IAWN, announces a comet from the campaign that is going to run November 27th through January 27th of next year to introduce methods for improving uh, as astronomy, astrometry from comet observations. The campaign will target Comet 3I Atlas, which is also referred to as C2025N1 to exercise the capability of the observing community to extract accurate astrometry to prepare for the campaign, we will hold a workshop on techniques to correctly measure comet astrometry. Registration is required by November 7th, so you might even have the opportunity to be a part of it. I've got an 8-inch telescope, dual mount. It's uh, made by Mead. It's a pretty nice telescope. I'd be happy to throw my telescope out there and see if we could work on this but this is what is activated this is the exercise that is secretly activated now if you go to nasa directly uh science.nasa always a straight answer <laughs> planetary defense at nasa 2016 nasa established the planetary defense coordination office to manage the agency's ongoing mission of finding, tracking, and better understanding asteroids and comets that could pose an impact hazard to Earth. Here you can stay informed about PDCO, NASA's Near Earth Object Observations Program, and upcoming planetary defense flight missions, including NASA's NEO survey mission. So the only thing we really get from this website, if we scroll down here, the 2024 YR4. 2024 YR4 uh, does have a potential impact to hit the moon. They're actually talking about nuking this comet to either blow it up or move it out of the way with a nuke. You know, that's, I mean, could you think of anything more insane? I mean, I could, but that's pretty, that's what they're talking about. I'm not saying they're going to do it, but that's 2024 YR4. But I don't see anything on this page uh, that is referring to what we were just looking at over here which is the minorplanetcenter.net. Just announced yesterday uh, during the solar conjunction of 3i Atlas, which if you watched earlier today, uh, we were looking at the orbit of 3i Atlas. So right here, 3i Atlas, this is October 21st. So this was the solar conjunction of 3i atlas and the reason it's referred to that is because it's on the opposite side of the sun the sun is in between the earth and this 3i atlas now what's also very interesting to note is this massive cme that erupted at about 10 p.m utc time on the 21st the exact same date of this solar conjunction with 3i atlas and that is a massive so, uh, solar flare that was luckily on the back side of the sun, because if that would have been facing the earth, it would have been pretty darn intense. So you can see this is from Lasco C2. You can also watch the footage earlier that I uploaded on the video right before this earlier today. Um, but when I saw somebody post on X that 
Planetary Defense Network was quietly activated by NASA. And then I went and looked for any information on that. I wasn't able to find NASA specific, but there was uh, somebody by the name of Monty Fowler on Facebook that sent me um, a direct link to this right here, which is from the Minor Planet Electronic uh, Network or the Minor Planet Center .net, And it does specifically describe right here. Let's look at the announcement. International Astronaut Warning Network Comet Astrometry Campaign. Comets present unique challenges for accurate astrometric measurements and orbit predictions. Cometary bodies are extended with morphological features, comas and tells that can systematically pull their centroid measurements off their central brightness peak, presenting challenges to estimate comet trajectories. So they're basically saying that this campaign is going to be running from November 27th through January 27th, and they're going to look at new methods for improving uh, ways to track the comet, ways to... Um, observe the comet or whatever this thing is. But when somebody mentioned earlier that it was just too small to cause a massive CME, I said, well, let's, let's hold on a second because the thing is 33 billion tons, 33 billion tons. So you take 33 billion times that by about 2000. And that's the number you get for how many pounds this thing is. And it's uh, according to the data and the, the, what we do know, at least what they're telling us, is the majority of its nickel. It's uh, an, an alloy type nickel that is created through industrialization processes here on Earth. And it's not typically seen in comets, uh, you know, which are often referred to as snowballs traveling through space at tens of thousands of miles per hour. This thing's traveling about 127,000 miles an hour. And on the 21st, it was in solar conjunction Here's the Earth right here. Here's the sun. Here's 3i Atlas. Then there's talk of on the 29th, there could be another event that would take place. And it's going to be close to Venus at this point, or pretty close to Venus in astrological terms, astronomical terms, astronomical terms. So 3i Atlas and Venus right here. Professor Loeb did talk a little bit about the 29th. Something along the lines of, if you're going to take a vacation, take it before the 29th, because that could be a major date. So put that on the calendar. Could be a nothing burger. Just reporting what we have heard. So uh, Professor Loeb just came out with this five minutes ago. Well, it was a little bit more than five minutes ago. But the International Asteroid Warning Network initiated a campaign to monitor 3i Atlas. You can read this directly on his Medium page, make sure you subscribe. I'm subscribed to his Medium page there, so you'll get the emails and then you'll get access to it right away. But the International Asteroid Warning Network, which we're just looking at, is a worldwide planetary defense collaboration of organizations and individual astronomers who collectively work to detect, monitor, and characterize potentially hazardous asteroids and NEOs. 3i Atlas is the first interstellar object targeted by its campaigns. So and that happened yesterday. Comets present unique challenges. We just looked at that and read that uh, directly from the website. But the, um, listen to this. He says, interestingly, this announcement follows a white paper that I submitted on September 30th to the United Nations in collaboration with Omer Eldadi and Gershon Tenenbaum. The white paper advocated for coordinated global scientific research to maximize observational coverage and ensure optimal scientific monitoring of interstellar objects like 3i Atlas, which could pose a threat to humanity if they happen to carry alien technology. Black swan events with small probabilities must be considered seriously if their implications to the future of humanity are large. This was taken on the second of this month. So this is one of the more recent images. Um, looks like that cosmic egg. And this was the CME yesterday during the solar conjunction at about 10 o'clock UTC approximately. Look at that. Boom. I mean, wow. You go to NASA's website, there's nothing on the planetary defense um, saying that they've updated anything or activated anything. You have to get that from the minorplanetcenter.net. Um, 
And this is what was making the rounds. NASA's training exercise over 3i Atlas sparks fears. <laughs> NASA activates planetary defense network for interstellar object. A classified satellite network is emitting a mysterious signal. That's Starlink. <laughs> oh, man. NASA quietly activates planetary defense network for 3i Atlas without saying a word. Daily Mail picked it up, you know, so scientists baffled as interstellar visitor appears to reverse course. Come on. Man. Oh, yeah. Pretty soon it's going to be the Martians. They're going to say it's the Martians. But I could definitely see. No, as soon as we get more images, we'll share those with you. I can show you what we do have. This is from the second of this month. This was from the ESA. And you saw this thing flying around um looking very odd and and what i think that is most likely is some type of hell i don't know what that is man that looks weird right that doesn't look anything like what they show us um from like the hubble and the other telescopes but i think that this is just a a really bad um really bad technology highly pixelated because see, that's a star up to the left there, and it looks like a like a Borg cube, and it's not a Borg cube. So, anyway, these are these are interesting, showing how it changes a little bit, how the comb is changing. Uh, I found this article interesting. Came out earlier today. The anti tell of Three Eye Atlas turned to a tell. <laughs> So this is from July 2nd to September 24th. New images from the Nordic Optical Telescope in the Canary Islands. The evolution of the glow around 3i Atlas shows a transition from an anti-tail towards the sun to a tail away from the sun. The brightest pixel is marked by a red dot. Sunward is west and distance from sun at each date is expressed in units of the Earth-Sun separation. This is once again from Professor Loeb's medium page. I'm already subscribed. Make sure you subscribe. All right, let's take a look at this. Pre-perihelion development of interstellar comet 3i Atlas. We had some images to show us on this one. Here we go. Boom. Sample images showing the morphological development of 3i Atlas. The image dates and heliocentric distances of the comet are shown in each panel, as is a 10 scale bar. Sunward is west. The location of the brightest pixel is marked with a red dot, showing that the dust is extended asymmetrically towards the west in the early data, reversing to the east as the radiation pressure swept tail develops in the later data. Would you look at that? Look at the red dot for 30 seconds. You will subscribe. You will subscribe. So that's what we've got right now, folks. And I'll keep you posted. Thanks for watching. Hit the bell. Be well. And be the change you want to see. Oh, almost forgot. Almost forgot. I should have shown you this. Somebody said, Rex, I think, I think we're living in the series Don't Look Up or the Netflix film Don't Look Up. Did you see this? Not to be confused with the song, but the film. This came out 2021. Political satire. And basically, there's an asteroid that's going to smash into Earth. But because elections are coming up, the politicians care more about getting elected than finding a way to save the planet. And I didn't watch the whole thing. I just watched parts of it. But I, And somebody said, Rex, that's what it's like right now. And I thought to myself, you know what? It kind of seems like that right now. <laughs> it does, right? Doesn't it seem... 
movies and TV shows and cartoons, you know, like they have a really uncanny way sometimes of paralleling future events. So whatever the cause, I don't know. But yeah, don't look up. Makes me want to look up. Thank you. Be the change you want to see.